Welcome, and follow me is a Nubia Red Magic 5S and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So obviously you can see that the phone I have right here is locked, it's uh, telling me to verify the previously used pen. Uh, I can also press right over here and verify it using the Google account, but assuming we don't know either of those things, we can just bypass this. And to get started with the bypass, you'll want to uh, navigate or progress through the setup a little bit in order to get to the Wi-Fi connection and once you have connected to some kind of network you can then just back out to the first page. Now we will need to now enable the uh, accessibility menu and even though we have like this button right here as you can see it does absolutely nothing. So we're gonna hold the volume up and volume down together And from here, select turn on, and we're gonna do that once again. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna virtually mute this so I don't hear it. It is a little bit distracting to me. So anyway, once you enable it, uh, you will see this page right here, just a greeting to the, uh, to the talkback and also just a brief guide on how to actually use this. So once you see this, what you want to do is draw a mirror L or mirrored L on a screen, uh, but starting from the bottom like this. So there we go. Just anyway on a screen will work. From here, you want to double tap this option that is selected with the green uh, outline. And before you progress any further, um, I'll kind of describe what we will do and then I'll do it just because it is kind of time sensitive. Uh, so when you select the use of voice commands and then double tap on it, it will activate a microphone. Once you see an indication that it is listening to, which is uh, some kind of like I think green uh, dot right here in a status bar, you will want to say uh, open, what is it? Let me quickly check. Okay, so we're gonna say open Google Assistant and from there, uh, once it opens Google Assistant, it will automatically start listening to you again because Google Assistant and you want to then say open YouTube. So let's do that right now. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Now, as you've seen, there was actually no uh, no data or of any sort right here to indicate that it is listening to me. It was just a auditory sound of a like a beep, uh, and then also you, uh, the Google Assistant did the same thing. So once you open up your uh, YouTube you will want to hold volume up and down once again. And now we can use the screen normally. So from here, you wanna select your account icon, navigate to settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. And we're gonna select Chrome and select always, accept and continue and no thanks. And in here, I'm going to tap right at the top right there and type in hardreset.info slash bypass. Now I'll write it down and you can pause the video if you need a moment to copy it. There we go. So now will be the time to pause. Now from here, once you are on our website, you will want to scroll down to the settings application, tap on it, and in here we're going to navigate to accessibility. You quickly find that I might be just blind.
Okay, so it is in advanced settings. We have the uh, accessibility functions, I guess. That's how they called it here. And in here, you want to select Talkback. Oh. Let me quickly make sure. Oh, there we go. Accessibility menu. And you want to enable it from here. Select allow. And then we're going to go back. And we want to now navigate to uh, apps. So let's go back once more. And once again to the main settings page. And in here we are looking for the apps. There we go. App info. That's how it's called right here. Once you open it up, you want to tap on the three dots right here and then select show system. So from here, we're looking for Android setup. So there we go, there is one. I'm gonna click on it. And it is probably the worst uh, color scheme I have seen. We have four stop right here. It is barely visible on the camera. It's also not much more visible on the phone. So anyway, you wanna click on that. First stop, okay. And once you have first stopped it, we're gonna go back and we're gonna scroll down to Google Play Services. And we can use, again, the barely visible uh, letters right here. So choose G right here. You can actually see it. There we go. So you wanna scroll down to G and in here you'll find Google Play, not store, where is it? Oh, that's right above. Google Play Services. You want to click on it. And again, you're going to select Disable. Or not again, but this time we're going to select Disable first. Disable up. And then we can also select First Stop and OK. Now, once we have disabled and First Stop Google Play Services, uh, we will now quickly check. I'm going to reboot the device. So let's hold our power key. Select Restart. Okay, so right now we are going to kind of finish up the setup in a way as far as we can. So okay, I'm going to select start, we're going to skip. Give it a second and we should see a pop up right here with the option to copy uh, apps and data and there we go and you want to select don't copy and right here we should be stuck on this page if i am correct checking for updates yep so it looks like we are stuck which is what we are looking for so what we will do right now is hold volume up and down and as you can see there is the couple options now I quickly mute this, assuming I can, just because it's absolutely annoying. And then you want to select Accessibility Mini. As you can see, uh, it's not always working. Uh, at this moment, it's not working at all for me. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking for now. It took me 10 tries to even get this. 
but once you see this you will select assistant set settings which also disappears and you want to select enable uh, when you see the Google Play services page so I'm gonna now keep on trying it till I can actually get it and get it so oops I don't think I pressed anything there There we go. Uh, it's finally enabled. So this is trash icon uh, for some uh, odd reason. Uh, it will say disable, you want to click on it, or no, it will say enable, you want to click on it and then it will change to disable. Now once it's actually uh, re-enabled the Google Play services, it will actually stay on here. It won't close it off like it was happening for the entirety of when I was trying to get it enabled. So once you have enabled it, go back. There we go. And we can now finish up the setup. Uh, by enabling it right now, it just kind of doesn't bother checking, so we can now set up a pen. Or we can skip it like I just did. Select allow, allow. And once you're on the home screen, you will want to navigate to your settings. Scroll all the way down to advanced settings. Select Reset options, reset a phone, OK, and it will now reboot, or all factory reset. And this will take about a minute to finish up, and once it has finished, we'll be back in the setup screen with the device fully unlocked. So from there we can go through the setup of it in whatever way we want. Okay, so right now I'm gonna just quickly go through the setup, skipping basically everything that I can, just so we can see that the device is now unlocked. And there we go. As you can see, I just finished up the setup without verifying anything because, well, the device is now fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.